Hi, I'm Tim, and welcome to WatchYouWant.com. Thanks for logging on. We've been on a little bit of a Breguet kick lately. Uh, now, Breguet makes some great watches, and we've had some fine ones. We had the Breguet Marine in stainless steel. We had the Classique, reference 3320, yesterday in yellow gold. And today, we've got another great Breguet dress reference that I feel is just so interesting that I want to keep the trend running, and I want to introduce you to the third Breguet in as many days. This is the reference 5907 18 karat white gold classique. The classique line incorporates traditional Breguet styling cues, elaborated from the original pocket watches built by Abraham Louis Breguet himself in the 18th and 19th century. The classique encompasses traditionally sized, traditionally styled high horology models from Breguet, now owned by Swatch Group, using the finest that that group's world leading technology and financial resources has to offer. And that starts with for once, the movement, not the dial. I'm going to start off with the movement because what you're getting here is about as good as it gets in terms of thin, finely designed, beautifully crafted, yes, complicated high horology movements in a dress format. Now, this watch right here is powered by what's known as the Breguet Caliber 511DR. Now, in its prior life, this was known as the Frederic Peguet 1150, a high endurance, ultra thin, fine high horology caliber automatic often used by Blancpain. Now they've removed the automatic winding bridge and they've actually created the aesthetic of a traditional manual wind watch to great effect. Now this is actually the later more desirable version of the Breguet Classique Reference 5907 because in this case you're getting the 511DR not the 510DR caliber and the difference is stark because the original 510 still featured almost the birth scars from the automatic winding bridge that had been removed from the movement when it was still the FPG. So it wasn't pretty to look at, quite frankly. It also didn't have the same 96-hour autonomy as this version. This has a 96-hour power reserve, and as you can see right here, let me get a little closer, it has a case-back power reserve indicator so you can track the state of that 96-hour power reserve. Plus, it has a bigger balance wheel operating at a lower frequency for more shock resistance and longer autonomy. The old version of this watch only had a 72-hour power reserve. Now, reduced to 21,600 vibrations per hour, it's a 96-hour true four-day power reserve. Beautifully finished. You can see the linear Cote de Genève. All of the bridges are hand-beveled. It's the gorgeous rounded mirror shine that you only get with hand beveling. And of course, all the screw heads are polished and they're camfered in their slots and beveled around their circumference. This is a beautifully rendered traditional dress watch movement. And I feel that if you're going to go with a display case back, if you're going to go with high horology finish, you want a manual wind watch and you don't want any vestige of that old automatic winding system. Frederic Piguet is as good as it gets and finished by, by a Breguet. Um, FPGA movements are really the total package. So you're getting high horology in both engineering and aesthetics here. Now in terms of the traditional Breguet virtues, this watch has all of them in abundance and that starts with the dial. Now the dial is iconic of Breguet pocket watches. Here rendered in a 30, roughly 35 millimeter 18 karat white gold case. This is actually a 18 karat yellow gold dial. Now the dial is first it's, it's first cut, and in that sense, it's cut out to its size, and then it's run on a rose lathe where a guilloche actually um, guides the lathe by hand. It's called guilloche main, as it actually says right at the bottom of the dial in small characters at 6 o'clock. That is cut by hand, and the cutting involves creating a dimpled ridge around the outer circumference of the dial, a circular grained hour track that's almost sheen, almost sheen. It's not quite shiny, it's not quite matte. It's almost like a semi-shine. And then inside, a matte barley corn clou de Paris cut pattern, which is sort of like a diagonally cross-hatched diamond cut hobnail. And then at six o'clock, the traditional small seconds. Now what this watch has are the heat blued Breguet hands fired in the kiln, oxidized until they're a deep blue. That's another feature that's emblematic of the Breguet watches. And although you can't quite see it, I don't think you can quite see it on the iPhone, there are small dimples at each one of the Roman numerals. And each one of those dimples is actually the natural yellow gold color of the base dial. So there's even just a little bit more visual interest and fine detailing. Plus, 
the Breguet signature at 12 o'clock on both sides of the Roman numeral 12. That's iconic of the modern Breguet watches. The little signature Breguet Breguet makes it that much harder to counterfeit and that much more distinctive as a timepiece. Now the case itself is cold rolled to create this coining on the side. Now that's the most difficult type of basically cold forging. It creates the strongest impression and when hand finished, it's a beautiful thing to behold. It's more expensive than stamping, it's more expensive than CNC, but Breguet does things the right way. Likewise, the soldered lugs with screwed in retainers, not spring bar pins, these are actually fantastically robust little lugs that will hold against a surprising amount of violence. Now, you're not going to use this as a sports watch, but that quality, getting more than you, more than you need, um, more than you think you'll need. It's the quality that surpasses expectations and requirements that really defines luxury, and that's what this Breguet gives you, and that's actually seen in the clasp as well. It's not a clasp, actually. It's a pin buckle, but again, both ends are screwed in for the strongest possible retention to this black alligator leather st um, strap right here. It's actually quite nice. Petite, like the watch itself, very elegant. Now this watch, which features all the signature Breguet elements, from the soldered lugs to the screwed-in retaining pins to the guilloche à main 18 karat yellow gold dial, the 18 karat white gold coined case, and of course that beautiful caliber 511DR is available from watchyouwant.com with all original Breguet factory accessories. That includes the original Burl Walnut Breguet factory display box, manuals, and paperwork. This is a beautiful watch that I would say is easily the equal of something like a Patek Philippe 5119G. In terms of traditional styling, beautiful compact proportions, it'll fit under any cuffs. This is a great dress watch if you like French cuffs, if you're wearing long sleeves, if you don't like the thickness of a large sports watch and you want something versatile, I think a white metal is unbeatable for versatility. And 18 karat gold is kind of like a secret between you and your watch. It's fine, it feels a little heftier than steel, but it's not bombastic or gaudy in any sense. It's precious metal without the bombast. That's the best way to describe it. Now on my six and a third inch wrist, that's 16 centimeters for our metric folks out there, the watch fits beautifully. It's flat, it's compact, it's the picture of traditional dress watch style. And quite honestly, this is a masculine statement for the man who has nothing to prove, who appreciates the finest in watchmaking refinement, and because it's a Breguet, it's for the man who has an eye for history. Check out this Breguet Classique reference 5907 on our website, watchyouwant.com.